in this video we are going to talk about coin toss coin toss with python basically if you toss a coin it will be either head or tail there are only two probabilities and the probabilities are for head it is half and for tail of course it is half but uh, how can we see this in numerical experiment of course uh, if you simulate the coin toss with python in computer uh, we will simulate the events head and tail we'll simulate the events of head and tail through random numbers for example if we take a random number if we take a random number which uh, have the two possibilities either it is 1 or it is 0 say for example then we call it say this is head and this is tail and we want to see whether this uh, probability is half that means if we calculate the fraction of number of times the head appears or tail appears that means number of heads occurring heads and the total number of events and the total number of events that means the number of times I toss the coin so this ratio uh, you can take it as say nh is number of head and total uh, say uh, n is the total number of events or total number of coin tossing so this ratio will become uh, will, will tend to half only when the total number of events uh, uh, tends to infinity or very very large that means mathematically uh, limit n h by n and when n tends to infinity that is only equal to half so this is the and this becomes the probability okay and the same is true for the uh, the, 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 the tail also tail part also okay so how do you do this in computer uh, we'll generate a uh, sequence of random numbers will generate a sequence of random numbers say 1 0 1 1 0 1 etc etc that means this is for head this is tail this is again head head tail etc so we'll generate the numbers randomly that means as if we are uh, tossing the coin and the this time it is head this time it is tail next it is head and so on and we'll count how many numbers head uh, say head is there if we uh, add the ones it will give me the total number of heads occurring here so and then we divide by the uh, total number of zeros and ones and then it will I will get the fraction of numbers and we if we do this uh, experiment large number of times that means we take large number of uh, ones and zeros that means long array then uh, we will expect that the ratio will eventually tend toward half let me go to the uh, interpreter and can uh, and can show you what how we can do this well uh, for this we need uh, say need to import numpy so import numpy as np uh, to display I need the matplotlib so import matplotlib.pyplot as plt now if I uh, have if I check the random numbers uh, generator rand int in the module called random in numpy so if I write np.random.say rand int 
rand int is a random number generator which generates integer random numbers between uh, lower limit and upper limit but uh, it won't touch the upper limit it will generate below the upper limit so that means if we write 0 comma 2 it will actually always create random numbers either uh, random integers either 0 or 1 okay so if I write this say it's 1 and again if I write this again 1 again 1 so as if every time it is occur head, head is occurring now it is tail now it is tail and so on this way it will do now I create th that means these are the number of coin tosses okay but uh, we won't do this repeatedly we'll do do it this in at one go let me uh, generate np dot random dot rand int 0 to oh before that let me write we want to let me think that we want to generate the random numbers say uh, uh, generate if you generate the random numbers or if we uh, you want to toss the coin say 10,000 times okay let's so let me call it in uh, write it 10,000 so n equal to 10,000 now if we can we write np dot random dot uh, rand int 0 to 2 and size equal to of course n we need not of course write this size uh, keyword argument because it is immediately after that anyway so I call it say x so if I want to see x x is the uh, array of uh, all the random numbers zeros and ones that means head and tails okay so now uh, I want to take this uh, array and uh, take some uh, uh, some numbers and sum this uh, okay take the uh, add them suppose we add them suppose we uh, add them so it will show me how many heads are here 5033 head out of 10,000 so now uh, we want to see uh, how many heads are there between uh, in in first 10 uh, toss coin toss so how many heads are there uh, between uh, within some 20 30 40 100 thousand uh, tossings to coin tossings so that way I want to create the fractions for different uh, uh, numbers and then plot I want to see how this fraction approaches towards half okay so uh, let me define a function say through uh, lambda function I can define original through normal Python function but I like this so let me call it say frac frac equal to lambda i colon and if we take x and colon i that means it will be the slicing of numbers from uh, beginning that means from 0 to i minus 1 that means total i numbers and I take the sum of this np dot sum that means total number of heads between 0 and i minus 1 and I divide by total number is i then and so divide by i so this is the fraction i uh, the function uh, for calculating fraction I have done so let me check it if I write 10 it will give me some value fortunately I mean <laughs> surprisingly 0 0.5 but it won't occur always uh, say 20 it is something else say 100 it is something else it will uh, fluctuate and eventually for large number we expect that this will uh, tend towards uh, half which is the actual uh, a priori probability which is half okay so let me create uh, this fraction this uh, fraction i for i okay let me create some capital n equal to a range of numbers from 10 to say n plus 10 comma 10 what does it mean i create random numbers from 
10 in the step of 10 that means 10 20 30 40 and I write here n plus 10 so that it goes up to n okay so between 10 to n n means 10,000 here okay I have taken uh, n uh, to be where it is uh, I have taken 10,000 okay so I create this range let me do it by list comprehension frac frac of i for i in n that means for different uh, values 10 20 30 and so on i create the fractions okay so it's, it will be a list of fractions by list comprehension and say i call it say y well now i plot this my work is done i plot this n versus y okay and uh, well i want to along with i want to plot a x h line axis uh, horizontal line and i write 0.5 here that means it will draw a line at uh, y equal to 0.5 so that uh, i can compare with this line because eventually this will tend towards 0.5 okay so let me show it yeah so here it is so initially it is too big then it is too small and this is the 0.5 line it fluctuates around this line and this goes up and down and eventually for large and large and large numbers it will eventually settles down it will settle down towards 0.5 so that's wha how we simulate a coin toss tossing experiment in uh, python